Hi, I'm Gabriel. And I'm Daniel. And this is Black Out Bros video. So today I'm going to do an interview with a uh, guitar player who has a real guitar. His, and his name is Jonathan. I'm going to review him on how to get the perfect metal tone. Hi, I'm Jonathan and I'm the metal tone expert. And me and Daniel are going to tell you all about how you get optimal metal tone when you're playing some rockin' awesome guitar. So Daniel, what kind of no, amp wait, wait, I, I, I'm interviewing you. Oh, I asked okay. you the question. No, no. So what amp do you use to get your tone? Well, I always use an overdrive amp. It gives me awesome tone and it it's just it's just the best. Is it a tube amp? It, it, oh well of course it's yeah, I, I was talking about pedals. Oh nope. what's the name of your amp? What's the well, name of your amp? Um... I think it's called an H D Y X. It's kind of an off brand. I got an Amazon for about wait, you, five bucks. Wait, boss. You got you got another amp? No, this is just for the video, it's just me messing around. Okay. This is like PV's next model. This is... Like the 5150. Kind of. It's It costs like five bucks more than just the, the PV. So it's it's a, it's a little bit better. But is it, is it, okay, enough with the amps, but now let's go to guitar. Because the guitar is basics. Um, to have the perfect middle tone, you need a good guitar. Like a Super Strat or a Dean or a Charvel, you know. I, I don't know. I mean, for metal, maybe it, maybe a super strat's good, but I, I really think that if you're going to do so a lot of rock music, you got to have we're, a we're Les talking about metal. custom. We're talking about metal. Well, I, I mean, just, yeah. Yeah, but yeah. for metal, it's good, too. So. But to have the best guitar, you got to have the best wood, don't you think? I mean, you got to have a rosebud but, fretboard. The rosebud? Okay. Okay, but to have the wood, you have to have a tree. But to have a tree, you must have a mustard seed. What? Wait, what is he doing in the show? What? what? He came out. <laughs> I know. I don't know why that weirdo was in here, but you don't have to have mustard seed. You gotta have an oak tree seed. I think about mahogany because most guitars are made out of mahogany. But oak, oh, oak guitars. I've mm. I've never played an oak guitar. Me I mean. neither. But the idea sounds really awesome. Now for the pedals. What pedal? Do you use? Well, just a standard overdrive gives me the best with uh, yeah, pretty much just a standard overdrive really gives me the best. And when you're going through a tube amp, it it just has a really nice metal sound. You don't even have to have any other pedals, just overdrive and a tube amp. It's perfect. That reminds me, a fuzz sound. Those ones are the best. When you put that, a fuzz, and an overdrive together, that is the best metal. You, well, you can't depends, have anything better. Because when you have the fuzz face and an overdrive, it First face sounds better, Don't but talk about. to have the pe perfect pedal, you just need a box and electronics inside. But to have a perfect metal pedal, you have to have awesome custom done designing on that pedal. Even though no one's going to see it, it looks amazing when your foot is on top of it. It's awesome. Especially yeah. when the camera swoops and you see the pedal in your YouTube video. It's... We don't have any pedals. Okay. No, I mean, yes. I'm talking about live. Oh, yeah. Okay. So right now we're here with Jonathan, and Jonathan is going to give me his expert uh, advice. Yeah, on how to get a perfect middle tone with my pillow board. Okay, so I'm playing through the Marshall Orange, and it's kind of clean. Yeah, I'm going to show Jonathan what's my average middle sound. That sounds like nails on a chalkboard. That doesn't sound like metal yeah, to me. Well, right there, that sounds like nails hitting my truck. I mean, I've, I've heard a little bit of better metal in my, my day. Uh, uh, okay. Well, you're the pill dude. I mean, middle dude, whatever. Person so, can you show me how to get metal tone with my middle piddle? Uh, this one, this one, and this one. And the wah? Yeah, just a, just a tad. <laughs> Wait, that's not metal at all. No, no, wait. wait. Someone that I've been looking for my whole life. Thank you, Jonathan.
Hello! I am Chef Luigi! So, I've heard of many cases where people have gluten intolerance or something and they don't have, there's not a lot of cereal that is gluten free. So today, I'm gonna show you how to make a gluten free cereal. So, what we will need, we'll improvise along the way, but these are the three uh, basic ingredients that we can use. We're gonna use this um, corn flour, gluten free cereals, and butter. And we're gonna start by uh, melting the butter. We, we just gonna make a small portion just so you know how we do it. So, here I'm gonna boil it. So, I melted the butter, so I'm just gonna put this flour and we just pour it in here. I think that's enough for what we're going to do. And just grab a handful of cereals, put it on there, mix it all up until it's just delicious. So, to make it more wet, uh, we're gonna put milk. Cereal, mm, delicious. I'm also gonna add ketchup to make it red flavored. Mm, delicious. Now mix it up again, just to make it all taste good. Mm -mm -mm. Add some more Cheerios. If you, if it's too sticky, add more Cheerios, okay? Right now, if it's very sticky, I'm gonna add Cheerios. Crush the Cheerios while I put them, so that it makes a fine dough. So it's all mixed up, so now I'm gonna put it in the microwave. Okay, so now you just took it out of the microwave, cause still put a spoon, cause it's very hot right now. Mm, the aroma and mint and chocolate mixed together. So now we shape it. It's still very hot, so you have to be very careful. So just cut it into strips and then cut it strips just until let's see fine now we let it harden 